Brought to you by easyhypnosis.ca. We'll do a special exercise. It's a guided meditation if you want. In this guided meditation, the words are very carefully chosen. So just like in any guided meditation that we prepare. By the way, I would like to give credit to Jean Becchio, the hypnotist who first created these exercises. In this exercise, all that you will hear will help you to relax and to get connected with your body. As usually, uh, with all hypnotic exercises, I will ask you not to drive and don't do anything that requires your full attention. So please sit comfortably with your back straight and your feet on the floor. For this particular exercise, you will need both hands free. Please put them on your lap with your palms facing upward. We don't set a particular goal in this exercise. In this regard, it is closer to meditation than hypnosis. And now that you're sitting in this position with your hands facing upward, don't do anything. Just close your eyes and listen to my voice. And pretty soon you will notice that it is impossible to do nothing. So pay attention to what you actually do when you don't do anything. You may be very concentrated right now, just like a diligent student. Or you may be like me when I was a child, didn't really listen to my teacher. You may also be interested in the thoughts in your mind or sensations in your body. And sometimes you may find yourself mixing the two. Images that come from your mind and sensations that come from your body. And doing nothing is exactly that. To do nothing means to allow this natural mixture of the three things, the body with its sensations, the mind with its images, and the third thing being the mixture of both. Some philosophers mention this paradox, action without action. Now that you are in this perfect state that has a goal, which I will give you at the end, and when you practice this exercise, you start achieving this goal, which is very important to one part of your body. And you will say to yourself, I am in the space where the atmosphere is the atmosphere of gratitude. And to achieve this, you let a memory come. A memory with this notion of gratitude. It may be a day when you were grateful to someone who was nice to you. Maybe a day when someone was grateful to you for something nice you have done. And for several moments you enjoy this atmosphere in this space. That's right. Feeling it physically in your body. Pay attention to these sensations so you could recognize them. Recognize them so you could use them. Use them when it will become necessary in your life. And you will explore a second area by letting another memory come. A recent memory of you being adult Memory from several years ago, when you were 18 or 16, when you were a little child. 
And in this memory, the main atmosphere is calmness. It may be calmness after a storm, or just calmness that comes without any reason. It doesn't make any difference. Please enjoy this calm atmosphere that you can feel physically in your body. Pay attention to this calm sensation so you could recognize it. Recognize it so you could use it. Use it when it will become necessary in your life. And then, to end this exercise, you will let another memory come. Recent memory of when you were 18, or memory from your childhood. Memory in which space and atmosphere are happiness. And for several moments you enjoy this happiness. Pay attention to this sensation, so you could recognize it. Recognize it so you could use it. Use it when it will become necessary. Now that you have enjoyed all this, pay attention to your whole body, your whole body here, here and now, without doing anything, still allowing things happen. And you will finish this exercise in a simple way by consciously inhaling three times each inspiration being a little deeper than the normal. And only after the third inspiration, you are going to open your eyes, fully refreshed, harmonized, and with a big smile on your face. <laughs>